Welcome to iRock Live. I'm your host, Rashida, and this is Dope or Nah, where we put you onto the dope shit. You welcome. But first, this. gonna bother saying dope or not for this one because it's freaking dope the power rangers reboot come on the 90s classic orphan time <laughs> the power rangers reboot will start decree montgomery as jason lee scott the red ranger you got rj seiler as billy the blue ranger becky g as trini the yellow ranger ludy lynn as zach the black ranger Naomi Scott as Kimberly the Pink Ranger and Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa. She is fucking hot. Rita Repulsa back in the day, she was like this old witch hag with the ugly horns on her forehead and this purple, ugly, raspy voice. Actually, the old Rita was hot too, but this one is more revealing, but she's fucking hot. Brian Cranston, yeah, that dude from Breaking Bad, he's Zordon, the mentor of the Power Rangers. This is freaking dope. Unfortunately, we do have to wait until next year to see it, but in the meantime, busy yourself with the trailer and the interviews of each character and cast crew because it is dope. You are crazy if you disagree. The Get Down is a new Netflix original series that was released mid-August, directed by Boz Lerman, who has directed some of the films you may know about, Strictly Ballroom, Romeo and Juliet, and The Great Gatsby just a few years ago. The Get Down series focuses in on the death of disco music and the birth of hip hop and no other place than the birthplace of hip hop itself, the South Bronx. The Get Down part one is available on Netflix, but you do have to wait until next year to see part two. But trust me, part one is definitely worth the binge watch. Each episode is about an hour and a half and it tells a complete story of this transition. It follows the story of one young diva and her friends, as well as one young kid from the South Bronx and his friends who grows up to be a great rapper, who reflects, and the story is told through his reflections. Check it out. 2016 Rio Olympics. Woo, yeah, USA, Jamaica, Nigeria. I just had to share my excitement for the gold medalists and the great accomplishments that happened this year. If you were watching how I was watching, I was excited and so should you have been. But we all wanna know. When do these games end? It's nice after day three, but it's day 10, 16. We know the answer, you welcome. The 2016 Rio Olympics ended August 21st at 7 p.m. with its closing ceremony. This happened after a lot of winnings, some losses, the alleged attainment of Lochte, Gabby Douglas's hair, but whatever. For more updates and the winner list, check out bleacherreport.com. Frank Ocean Endless visual album. He pulled a Beyonce on us. He dropped this album by surprise at midnight and it has done very well. You can check it out at boysdon'tcry.com. But I will say, what is going on, Mr. Ocean? We've been waiting four long years for this. We had to stick through Channel Orange, which was amazing, but you gave us four long years. Give us the real album now. This is pretty dope though, good job. All Star Weekend 2017 is being held in New Orleans, NOLA. This happens after the NBA took a stand against the inequality for the LBG community in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte passed a city ordinance against members of that community from using the bathroom, which is not gender neutral. Way to go, NBA.